Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video today um, <laughs> I can give you a long awaited book review. Um, I've been asked to do several book reviews but I've been really really busy and I haven't had a chance. So today I'm going to do a book review on Bakra Crystal. Um, you know, you walk around car boot sales, you pick up crystal all the time, you know, you pick up a little vase, and they may be asking five or ten quid, and you think, well, okay, five or ten quid, I can maybe get fifteen or twenty. But if you find a back or a mark, you know, add a zero. Paperweights. You buy a paperweight for a ten, and you think, oh, I might get thirty, forty quid for it. Back or a one, thousand pound. You can get it, guys. Um, so this is a really, really good book, and I'm going to give you a, a little look through the old book. This has got the history of Bakra and some absolutely stunning examples of their work. And I mean some of their finest work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a little look. I will also give you the ISBN number should you wish to order. In fact, I'll do it now and later. So there's the ISBN number, guys. Don't know how much this book is to buy now. We may have a look in a minute. Um... How much have I paid? Printed in Spain. Uh, doesn't say a price. It normally says a price on the cover. But this one doesn't, guys. So what I'll do, we'll have a little look as well as to how much this book will cost you, okay? So that's uh, today's video. We're going to do a book review on Bakra Crystal. And trust me when I tell you this. If you find a piece of background, you know what it is, you can buy it off dealers and still make a damn good profit. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so as I've already said, the book reviews on Barker Crystal. This is a large book, guys. It's a little larger than an A4 size piece of paper. And quite a thick book. I'll tell you how many pages in a minute. So we obviously, we start off with the history of Bakra. So the contents, so you've got the crystal works, the story of Bakra, display pieces, glasses, jugs, decanters, paperweights, table pieces, bottles, vases, modern decorative pieces, the glossary, factory marks and signatures. That's very important there, guys. Factory marks and signatures. A biography of glass designers, a history of Bakra crystal works, and... <clears throat> then just the acknowledgements. So, I'm going to skip through. Obviously, you have loads and loads of history and things. Bear with me. Show you all the work involved. Right, so then you got the story of Baccarat. Right, and, you know, the history is extensive, guys. This company been going since, well, 1820s. Skip all the history because obviously it's no point in me just briefly giving you rough history. You need really to read the book. So, as you can see, there's quite an extensive history. Now we move on to some of the beautiful works of art. And some of these pieces are in the tens of thousands. Look at that. Now these ain't the type of pieces you're gonna find, I know. These are pieces that are in museums or palaces and castles already. However, that you may find at a car boot sale. This type of stuff, yes, you can find. And you have to know what it is. Even a single glass like these can be a couple of hundred pound. Don't wanna just be all glasses. These hocks. Now, you wouldn't know the difference between a Bohemian, um, you know, Waterford or Bakra unless you, you know, you see the signature or the quality and you know the patterns. And some of these are going to be big money again. You know, a single stem glass, £100, £200. Pages and pages of glasses, guys. I'm going to skip through the glasses. As you can see, this is quite extensive. Very good book. That's a lovely design. Hasn't even got a foot. 
and you can actually see but there you can see the signature just coming through on the photograph right so we're into jugs and tableware you know you can get 500 thousand pound for a baccarat 19th century baccarat claret gigante or something you find one of these on a car boot sale and somebody's going to be selling it for 40 quid 50 quid just as a crystal decanter or something you find a back row signature and you're in the money guys and look at the work spectacular so this is a good book <clears throat> as you've already saw we give you extensive history on the company uh, and it covers a huge variety of their work perfume bottles don't think it was anything they haven't done guys shapes and patterns we'll get to the mark section in a minute I want to show you the paperweight section now I've actually had one of these some probably 10 or 15 years ago and I had 300 350 pound for it back then Look at that. Is it going to focus in? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have turned the camera there. Spectacular quality. Considering this is all glass, you know, hand painted and enameled, it is absolutely spectacular. Look at that. That is beautifully copper wheel engraved and acid etched and everything else and look at the quality of that and that they've taken off a piece of glass well in fact that's what they've taken it off look. beautiful goblet ruby flashed and amazingly engraved you find something like that and uh, it'll be one of the finds of your life I wanted to find the paperweights for you guys Show you some paperweights. Even modern design, though. Now, I know there's paperweights in here. If I skip them, uh, well, hang on. We'll, uh, I want to find the marks. Where's the marks page? Right. Factory marks and signatures. So what's the earliest mark on you? Eighteen sixty five is the earliest mark by there. So we'll uh we'll have a little look now as to when the company started. But in the meantime, I want to find... Look at that. What a beautiful piece of modern art. What I want to find are the paperweights for you. Excuse the siren guys, sorry. Bit of uh, excitement out there. Mm, now I know they got paperweights because I've seen them already. I was looking at them earlier. That's what you get for skipping pages or clumps. Just to give you an example of some of their paperweights. And you get one of these guys, you're up a thousand pounds. And that's how they make them, lad. They use canes. They put all the canes together, uh, which would then look something like this, and then case it in glass. <coughs> but even showing you the manufacturing process, look, and how they've made them and everything. And that's, the, that's a paperweight being made, look.
So, really is a good book, guys. Extensive, in depth, shows you loads and loads of examples and uh, loads of history. I haven't read this book for probably 10 years now. That's how long ago I've had it. So I'll go back, yeah, no, let's have a look. Let's see. Okay guys, I know I've got the book there, but rather than rooting through the book, I have literally just come to Wikipedia here, if it focuses in. Are you going to focus in? Come on. Right. So we have the Bacher Crystal Company. It is a French manufacturer for crystal glassware located in Bacher, uh, France. The company owns two museums. Um, so, history. The factory was founded in 1764. So in 1764, King Louis the Ninth of France, no, 15th, King Louis the 15th of France gave permission to found the glassworks in the town of Baccarat in the Lorraine region in eastern France. Prince Bishop Cardinal Louis Joseph de Laval Mont Mercy <laughs> produced Consistent of window panes, mirrors, stairway until 1816. So in the early period, they were doing, obviously, windows, stained glass windows and things like that. Uh, they received their first royal commission in 1823 and began a lengthy line of commissions for royalty and heads of state. So they've been going since 1764, guys. There's a full history here, but in, in all honesty, it's all in the book anyway. So, yeah, it's quite extensive. If you want to go to Wikipedia as well, there's quite a bit of information on them on Wikipedia also. Um, just, you know, for you to have a little look. However, as I've said, everything on you is in the book. And I'm going to give you the um, the book. I guess, well, they reference, they're offering you some books here as well. Now, I don't know about these books, and it's been some years since I read mine, but it was a brilliant book, I know that. Okay, so I know I haven't gone into in-depth history on the, um, the company, but that wasn't the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video was just to give you an example. If you want to have a read about Barker Crystal, have some examples of their works, then to be totally honest with you, this is really is a fine book. Um, the book is by Jean Lewis Curtis. Um, bear with me. I've already given you the ISBN, but I'll give you that again, guys. Uh, publisher is Thames and Hudson. Okay, so if you want to search for the book, I'm going to have a look now in a minute how much the book costs, and I'll show you that on um, online so that you can buy the book. And again, just before I finish, there's the ISBN. So we'll have a look now at how much the actual book costs. Okay, the company I'm using, guys, is Adol, and that's the website there. If you go to adol.com or used adol.com and I've just done a search on the ISBN number. I haven't had to do anything else. Uh, just search on the ISBN number and the cheapest one here is £37.63. And, and it looks like the book was published in 1992. I wouldn't have bought it then. Um, I've only been doing it about 20 years, so I would have bought it somewhere around 2000. So, yep, £37. <laughs> and it goes all the way up 
to 182 pound if you want to buy it off somebody in uh, Spanish or an English edition but they're 119 pound but yeah you can get it as cheap as 37 pound guys obviously plus postage so works out hang on works out to 27.94 in GBP that's obviously in dollars so if you want it in uh, pound sterling it's 27.94 plus shipping so you're doing all right that's not bad that's really cheap for a good crystal uh, informative book well guys I hope um, that you found it informative it really is a good book I know I haven't read it for years but I haven't read any of my books for years I've been that busy and to be honest with you I'm learning Chinese and things like that but I have the books there in my library if I find a piece of back or a crystal I refer back to the book shows you how long since I've had a real nice piece of back or off car boot sale um, I did have a nice piece of St. Louis back last year though so it does happen um, but yeah case off a book guys Hope it helps, and um, that is a quality book. Hopefully you can see the quality of the book on the video. Um, guys, all I can say is, if it's not for you, don't buy it. But if you want to learn about Bakker Crystal and you want the marks and everything else, then buy it. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know you've subscribed, and I'll give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page in the group Antiques Arena. You find me on eBay, I have a page, Antiques Arena Clearance. Make sure you add the word clearance at the end of Antiques Arena. Uh, I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come see me in the shop. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.